and we're going out even though I have work tomorrow at eight in the morning. I literally have to wake up at 6.30, but it's fine, I'm fine. We're going to be making the classic college drink, which is Tito's with meal. I literally have like no meal left, but it's fine. It's lighting. Sucks so bad. Usually we just free ball it and pour it in, but because I have work tomorrow, we're not gonna do that because then I'm gonna get blacked and then I'm not gonna be able to go to work tomorrow and that's not an option. It's only eight o'clock right now. Now it's time for a taste test. Now it's time to get ready because I look like this. Boy, if you don't get- Hill's already getting ready. She's the one who convinced me to go out tonight. Shoved her Red Bull down her throat. So I'm not a big fan of going out on Thursdays anymore because I'm kind of in my grandma era now, but Kayla did convince me to go out. I enjoy the Thursday night bash, even though we have to wake up with crack. Oh, and it's all you can drink. I work Fridays and we go out on Thursdays. Literally the conversation is, do you guys want to go out tonight? And it's like, no, we work. All right, so we're going? Yes. And then we all go out. We regret it. Sometimes. How I think about it is, are we gonna remember how hungover we were, or are we gonna remember the night out? Me and Kayla both have no idea what we're gonna wear tonight. Also, comment down below if you like vlogs where we go out, or if you want like vlogs about our actual week. I never vlog like me, like schoolwork, or like anything like that. It's always just like a party vlog, so let me know. When I'm doing schoolwork, it's just me sitting in my bed. Like, I don't know what I would film. Like, I've tried to do vlogs like that, but then I'm like, what am I supposed to film? As me and Kayla were getting ready, JJ, Casey, and her boyfriend, Ethan, arrive. Bar and Kayla and Parker's house is always a pregame house because when we have to walk to the bar, it is closer. The party's always here when I arrive. Like, I am the party. Hey! Wait, don't let me so much. No. <laughs> you guys exposed me I in that video. No, because oh, it's so okay, cute. Okay, we can't show it. Ethan's oh, wait, wearing yeah. the merch. Casey's boyfriend, Ethan, aka GD every weekend, <laughs> is wearing the merch. Wait, so are you driving us home tonight? Because I cannot walk in the freezing. Probably. I honestly feel bad a lot of the time because Ethan will stay up until 2 in the morning to pick us up from the bars multiple times of the weekend, like Thursday and Saturday. Sometimes I do feel bad that I do make Ethan drive us to the bars every weekend, but he is my boyfriend, <laughs> so I feel like it's like in the contract. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Ethan, I'm Casey's boyfriend, and I'm always the Ethan. Because everyone gets too drunk to function. <laughs> and also, it's in Casey's contract. Okay, DD's so back. Good. Anyway, we're going out tonight. Ew, why did I do this? Anyway, it's Thursday, and it's one of the last Thursdays because we all work on Friday. Wait, so are you ready for tonight or are you not? Who? You, you're I'm hammered right now. What? Kayla told me to be. What? I thought you said I'm gonna be drunk by 7.30. I said I'm going to pour a drink at 7.30. <laughs> Wait, Are you serious? Say, I thought you said get drunk by 7.30. first drink. I had drunk one sip, JJ. Are you joking? For the no, no, I had four shots, two Twisted Teas, and two Armored Plumbers. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said be drunk by 7.30. What the f***? <laughs> I don't live with the girls at the house and sometimes the girls take a while to get ready So what do I do in my free time? I'll pregame the pregame. I swear Kayla said JJ We're gonna go out at around 8 o'clock be drunk by 7:30. Like oh, okay easy Apparently I got lost in translation because she said be here at 7:30, and I was drunk at 7:30. He just chugged 40 shots before he showed <laughs> up and we're all sober. Well, that's awkward. You took four shots by yourself? Yeah. That yeah. is so <laughs> gross. I'm scared. Now take one downstairs right now. I'm not. I'm wiping my sweat. Uh, sorry, that was gross. Did you guys know the No Bones Day dog died? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> His career died as well. No, because he definitely has no views. <laughs> Ethan Ader was helping me pick out my outfit, but he picked out this black top that I would have to wear like a black bra underneath, you know, because it's kind of like see-through, but he said just no bra and just wing it. Um, my nipple piercings were flying through the shirt. <laughs> I was horrified. Ethan thought it was hot. Ethan thought it was perfect. <laughs> so Kayla has pierced nipples, and I thought the whole point of them was to show them off, so that's why you wear the shirts like that. We have to go look at Kayla's nipples. <laughs> That down for me. She could not wear that. The ring light actually exposed her skin. I'm not gonna I'm include that. We've done the nip slip before. 
guys don't know, in one of my vlogs when we went to frat school with our roommate Parker, oh. I accidentally posted Kayla stripping in the background and she had a full on nip slip and you could see her boobs. So honestly, something I still feel bad about to this day is the fact that I let the entire internet see Kayla's nipples. That was 100% an accident, but like, I don't really know where to go from here. Like, do I get her an apology card? Like, sorry, the entire world saw your nipples. Like, I don't really know what to do. Corey gave me a shout out on the internet uh, when I had a huge nip slip. Honestly, I was fine with it. I was like, eh, who cares? <laughs> OnlyFans career. Sorry, the content's down. You can't watch. This is not OnlyFans. What should I wear tonight? No. <laughs> we're starting right now. This is gonna take forever. Yeah. I get so mad because I never know Her what I want to wear. Take forever. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ride to the bar from Ethan, so I'm like yes. down to wear a crop top even though it's Life. like 20 degrees out. Life. Obviously, it's tradition that Cora has no fucking idea how to dress herself. Of course, I'm gonna be there to help her, but if you've seen her walk-in closet, I should have the creative reign over her body and bedazzle this bitch. But no! She wants to wear neutrals and jeans. They want me to wear this? To sabotage. I'm not wearing that! It's a Thursday! <laughs> <gasps> oh, this would be cute. That is cute. With, With black jeans? In a weird way, this would be fun. I feel like no, no, I wore that to work. I can't work on these positions. <laughs> You're drenched. Yeah, turn it off. Good. <laughs> Cora, I swear to God. You like clickbait? I'm over it. So if you know us, you know that we oftentimes like to exaggerate a lot of things in our lives, and when the camera turns on, I just feel like that gets to a whole nother level. Of course, we're gonna over exaggerate everything. Like, her views are down, so we need to get them back up. Like. <laughs> Back in the closet, baby! <laughs> JJ, come out. <laughs> you see that? Second time's in turn. Okay, for once. I don't think I'm changing my outfit. She looks good. <laughs> I don't know why I stuttered, but you do look good. You I did barf in my mouth at that moment. Duh, I'm gonna steal the camera. Like, look at the spotlight. You can't tell me I don't look good. Stole the camera. Stole the show. <sighs> okay, don't take the show away. <laughs> Okay, since everybody wants to know what my drink is, it's normal. It's liquid piss. <laughs> my drink for the night. Drink call. Uh, that, that is uh, water. <laughs> water. White claw. That's it. And vodka and rum and Coca-Cola. <laughs> you are heinous. Okay, guys, we're all ready for the bars. JJ's drunk off a thousand shots. I'm barely taking a sip, but we wanted to inform you guys. Tonight we're going out. Tomorrow I work at the Crack of Dawn, as you all know. Friday, I don't even know what we're doing Friday, but Babe, then- tomorrow is Friday. You said- Oh. <laughs> She's like, I haven't drank. I literally haven't. I wanted to tell you guys about this weekend's plans, which we're doing a wellness getaway sponsored by Peter and Vino. We're so excited to send us away to this Airbnb. It's hosted by two elderly people that are letting us rent out a couple rooms, plus their hot tub, which we're so excited. Plus, there's a therapy dog. Excited. On site. I know it's gonna be a little bit snowy, but there's snowmobiles, there's a lake. Okay, yeah. I'm so. ready. Wellness weekend. By the way, we're just going to JJ's house right. in Butler, yeah. Wisconsin, yeah. in the woods. I Thanks. just realized I called my parents elderly. No one needs to know that. We're going to my house this weekend, which I'm really excited. I didn't know there was all this luxury, like snowmobile, therapy dog. I mean, when do you see the Corvette and Camaro? Are they serious? Oh, okay, he's rich. I'm done. <laughs> Come here. That was scary. Parker just got home. He's a proud member of Quick Trip. He's coming out with us tonight, but he has to go to the frat first. Parker, are you picking out your outfit for tonight? You wore that last weekend. So, so you need to mix it up. <laughs> At the beginning of the school year, we realized how horrible Parker's outfits were. So he went from board shorts to now cuff jeans and a gold chain. Who knows to us? <laughs> so honestly, before I started living with Cora and Kayla, I had some of the best outfits I've ever seen. <laughs> They just harassed me nonstop, so I'm like, all right, I'll let them pick out a few of my outfits. Everyone hates my new outfits. It's terrible. <laughs> I think that I should be getting paid for helping Parker pick out his outfits every weekend. His outfits will be atrocious without us. Dude, I don't really care to get like. Why do you hang your clothes up inside out? It just happens like that. I don't know, dude. Like honestly. Like, honestly, dude. Like I'm not really sure. <laughs> You're drunk already. She's no, I'm not. I'm not. What about this one? Yeah, wear that. You never wear that anymore. Courtesy of. Cora, I have my outfit. Why did you not know my name? <laughs> I gotta change and You're literally already naked! <laughs> 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 okay. 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 
You're such a freak. Surprisingly enough, I don't really get offended when Cora and Kayla call me a freak. I wish they'd use a different word, <laughs> but like, I know I'm a goofy little guy. Ew! <laughs> Okay guys, we're taking a shot because I am not drunk and we're about to leave. This is, I think, kind of fancy. It's Wait, ASMR. <laughs> that's big. That is dirty <gasps> water. Oh, oh, that is Sorry. so inappropriate. This we would never talk. Deal. You're a Vita. I'm just kidding. Maybe that's why I don't get brand deals, it's because I'm inappropriate. So Let's prep. Let's stretch. Alright, okay, Woo! let's go. Woo! Cheers to a Thursday. Yeah, it almost came up. Anyway, we did it. We're about to leave in the bar. Even though it took a lot of convincing all day for Cora to come out, I'm really happy she decided to come out because we all had a blast, obviously, and we're flooring it drunk. Okay, we're done with work. This is quality shit because I'm on my iPhone. We got McDonald's, obviously, because we were starving and need the hangover cure. Mm -hmm. oh, um, such a good thing now. The wellness retreat was canceled, unfortunately. So now I'm teaching Cora how to do yoga. I don't even want to begin to explain why the wellness retreat was canceled. There was a blizzard, the roads were bad. There was this whole big argument about the cars being parked and this whole Tabasco. Tabasco? <laughs> Fiasco! <laughs> so basically, JJ jumped in and said, my dad had a stroke and we're not going on the wellness retreat. The wellness trip, AKA my mom and dad's Airbnb, Exploded. It actually didn't explode, but my dad's heart did because he had a stroke. He's okay for the most part. He can't feel his arm still. Yeah, so <laughs> the wellness trip had a little turn. This is our new wellness retreat. Inhale, and you touch your hands to the sky, and then you exhale, then you come back up, and then after that, you sit on the ground. <laughs> you fall. <laughs> and you go into a cobra. Cobra. <laughs> Casey's in a yoga class here at Whitewater. <laughs> Oh yeah, I probably should have started with tell. that. So basically, the wellness retreat got canceled. Obviously, you guys know we were bullshitting. There was never an actual wellness retreat. We were literally just supposed to go to JJ's because he has snowmobiles and a hot tub and whatever. And we've never been to his house, so we were like, let's all go. And then basically everything went to <laughs> So everyone was screaming at each other in the group chat and there was an actual blizzard outside and there's always an issue with the group. Like there's always some sort of drama, <laughs> so we're not going. Honestly, I was just annoyed over the whole like picking up situation. I was over the arguing. I think JJ got mad at me because he like thought we were guilt tripping him, but like I just like didn't see it that way. I wasn't mad. This made me feel like a piece of shit for ruining their weekend. <laughs> no, actually, I wasn't mad at all. Now me and Casey are gonna go to Target and shove our face to all. Learning because we hate everyone else. Just kidding. <laughs> we're pissed at everyone. Like, what the f just kidding, we're not. I'm just saying that for the drama. So because you guys are not getting the wellness retreat, we're gonna do some <laughs> yoga for you. We're gonna start like this. We're gonna walk down. What the fuck, I can't see anything. And you do cobra. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, this feels so good. I know. And you can feel yourself getting more flexible by the minute. Did you hear that, Danis? <laughs> And then this next one we're gonna do. Calculator. <laughs> Basically, everyone hated me and Casey and didn't want to hang out with us and is crying at home. But we're like, you know what? We're not gonna let this ruin our day. Just because the wellness retreat's canceled, like we're making yeah. our own. 
wellness retreat aka target and olive garden that is the wellness retreat and you know what i'm not going out tonight i You're refuse not. to go out it like cuts to us at the bars no no <laughs> i woke up in a noble god I totally forgot. I just got this package in the mail. It was literally outside, I think, for two days because the box is soaking wet and it had, like, snow on it when I took it off the porch because it's a blizzard outside, like we said. It's from, like, that company that everyone gets sponsored by on TikTok. Bubble. Oh. Like, Noah Beck did a sponsorship. Okay, well, we don't need skincare anymore because they just sent me it. Oh. Okay, they sent me a million products. I never get PR because I'm relevant and a loser, so this is actually exciting. Texture serum. Oh my god, I need that. Face oil. Thank you, Bubble Beauty. Wait, they said literally more though. Oh my god. <gasps> Makeup remover. Thank you. I'm literally so excited, and now I literally don't need to go to Target and buy anything. Okay, great. It was pretty late, so me and Cora just decided to head straight to Olive Garden. Basically, we are stupid. We're on our way to Olive Garden, and we had to pull over. The hazards are fucking odd because we could see shit. Oh my god, she's literally getting run over. This car coming. The weather was terrible today but we still decided to be stupid and go to Olive Garden. We literally had to pull over because like her windshield wipers were not working and there was snow blasting because it's a blizzard outside right now. Now she's trying to like fix her thing because now we're not turning back because we're already like we're not halfway there but like there's no turning back now and especially on this road like it's busy. She's taking a fucking sweatshirt she had in her back seat. Okay car wash. Two idiots pulled over on the side of the highway right now. One and two. Me and Casey are literally the only people who would drive 30 minutes to go to Olive Garden during a blizzard. Will we make it to Olive Garden, the world may never know. No one wanted driving the blizzard, but y'all know we came to the garden, baby. Oh my God, I'm about to so devour. Thank you. Well, I'm ready to order. I'm not joking. We have been here for less than 10 minutes and we already have our food. <laughs> and we're not sorry about it. No one wanted to come with us because everyone was trying to be skinny and obviously we were. <laughs> Hi. Cheers. Wellness era. Don't get me wrong, I love me some Olive Garden, but every time after I eat there, I feel like I'm going to shoot my pants. I feel like I'm going to loatness out of my pants. Like, I need to like take off everything I own and just put on a 3XL sweatshirt and lay in bed for a million years because I can't function. <laughs> I'm unwell. Good thing my pants are not tight. Devour. After Olive Garden, we decided to head back to Cora's. But the blizzard escalated, like, a lot. It was a fucking avalanche at that point. <laughs> you guys. <gasps> Casey, just stay focused. Okay, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. We are driving in a fucking snowstorm, and Casey's windshield wiper just flew off the fucking thing. Oh, my God. We are so fucking stressed, you guys. This is the worst we've ever drove right, in. This is the worst I've ever driven in. <laughs> Not Wait. the windshield wiper fucking <laughs> flying into the abyss. <laughs> Hopefully it didn't hit that truck because I, I know. We will talk to you guys when we're not dying in the blizzard because I'm actually scared. I was genuinely scared when we had to drive home in the snow. Well, we decided to do that. We're having a casual night, okay? We're not going full out. Literally didn't put on any makeup, neither did Jacqueline. I look like a ghost, but I don't care. We're just going like this because it's already like 10 and we have not had a single drink. This is the first thing I've opened, so cheers. We're just going out for a chill night because we're mature now. Not really. You would change your outfit eight <laughs> times, Jacqueline. We're all wearing the same thing. Jacqueline literally came here with pajamas. But to be fair, we thought we were having a wellness weekend at JJ's, which didn't happen, so. So as Casey would put it, it's avalanching outside. So obviously I had to drive and make sure everybody made it to the bars. It is blizzarding. We are treaching in the blizzard. <laughs> oh, I just fell. Jacqueline is flying. It's not a marathon race. Why are you running? This is actually like deep snow. A lot of shots in L4. Honestly, Saturday night out was just what we needed. It was a casual but fun night. You can be